Hello guys, today let's see the ways used to develop the aggressive defense style, so without any delay let's jump into the video. Before knowing anything you have to first of all know how to press aggressively with your defender, so you have to know where to sprint, where to fast jockey and where to slow jockey, most of the times if you wanna press aggressively you have to sprint a lot of the times, but where, especially high up the pitch and when your opponent breaks into your final third you have to use sprint less. So what's the effect of sprinting a lot when defending aggressively? You cover up space quickly most of the times, and forces your opponent into making mistakes, he have to react fast in order to avoid the press. Then when to fast jockey, when a player is in jockey motion he changes direction quickly, so we use fast jockey when trying to change directions quickly especially from a sprinting motion, when you're sprinting and you need to change direction fast, don't release the sprint button, continue holding it and then hold the jockey, your player will turn quickly. Most times it's about sprinting when approaching the ball holder aggressively and the important thing is that, you have to move your defender in diagonal movements, as this way the defender runs quickly and he can tackle the ball easily from the opponent's player, so when you approach the player try pressing the tackle button to challenge for the ball. Even if you're behind the player your defender can tackle the ball and win it, so just run diagonally and approach, then spam the tackle button. To defend aggressively you have to think one step ahead of your opponent, you to guess what he might do next and react fast, you have to sense the incoming danger and cover it before he realize it, you have to know his available passes and close them up, and all this comes from playing a lot to gain this skill, it comes from experience, if you need a video explaining how to develop your anticipation skills, I left a link in the description. Right stick switching is the best aggressive mechanic you should master, it's not hard to learn you just need to put in the hard boring work, I already made a tutorial on how to train this mechanic, check the link in the description. The role of the right stick switch is to mark the opponent's furthest players where the L1 switch can't switch to, you right stick switch to the player, sprint towards the opponent's player to tightly position your defender there, this limits the opponent's passing options, if he tries to take that pass you will intercept most of the times, and when he dodges it, he will be forced to play very slow. And the important thing you have to switch your players very quick, you have to switch before even the opponent thinks about the pass. As you're busy marking the opponent's defender, the opponent might think of another option to take, this is where the second man press comes in. So when your right stick switch to the furthest defender, keep holding the R1 to trigger the second man player to keep on pressing the ball holder, as you're closing up another player, but remember to switch back and take a challenge for the ball by yourself not the AI, because the eye can't tackle the ball by itself. You have to bear two thoughts when defending aggressively 1, the opponent has no time to play his game, you have to force him to play the ball quick, so switch players quick enough and drive them forward to force your opponent to panic and start playing rushing things. 2, you need the ball to score, so every time you press the you should be thinking about winning it quick enough and take it to his goal, this triggers your brain to start reacting faster because you have something needed urgently, it's a goal, so you will realize that you're switching quick enough, anticipating the opponent's movements perfectly, by the time you get the ball, you quickly transit into a counter and score. Defending aggressively is something risky, any slightly mistake can cost you a counter attack and even concede, but it has more advantages than disadvantages, so you should not be afraid to use this style of defending because it's the best, this game was designed by even if you defend carefully, you have to concede when the script activates no matter what, so don't get discouraged when you concede, so that's it for today, I sign out.